Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for another review of Legends of Tomorrow and it's another good one. Oh yeah. We got the Justice Society of America. Before I start say that though, this season begins something I really love about this season and that's the alternate intros. In other words, like rather than Rip just having the intro every episode, you have a different character saying it every episode. Oh yeah. I like that they mix it up a little and everyone's got their own little slightly... Yeah, last time it was Stein, this time it was Sarah. It's nice that they have their own little different ways of saying it. So we pick off where we left off with them being approached by the JSA and we get, once again, another amazing fight scene with another amazing soundtrack all before the opening credits. Oh, yes. And of yes. course, the JSA overpowers Abs them, which the JSA shows... They are not to be messed with. Yeah, we have the amazing G fight scene where the JSA kicks their ass. They do something really cool where, like, you know, Firestorm gets hit and they split into two. And you get to see cool things like... You it get gets dark. You get to see Obsidian use his powers and you get to see Vixen use her powers. And you get to see all, everyone using their powers. Yeah. Oh, man. I, like, it's just a one-minute little fight scene. But even still, it's such a good fight scene. Oh, God, and I love most of the JSA have some sort of connection. Like, one of them's Rex Tyler, who we've already seen. One of them is Nate's grandfather. And one of them is Vixen, who we've seen a version of Vixen before at this point. Yeah. Some of you may be wondering why we have a different Vixen. So, I'll get into that next episode. Well, it's in the past. True, but I'll get into I'll get into more about our, about this vixen and what makes her different from the other vixen soon. But still, yeah, you're a lot right. A lot of interesting JSA characters. I will say, don't get me wrong, they're all cool. But seeing all of them, of course, just makes me want to go watch the show Star Girl, which has a much superior version of the JSA. Okay. But that's not the fault of this show, and this came way before the show Star Girl. Yeah. But oh well, all the JSA members are interesting, or most of them anyway. Yep. So yeah, we get like good scenes between Nate and his grandfather, which are interesting. And you know, this is basically Nate's episode because well, this and next episode are definitely Nate's episode because Nate, oh, yeah. Nate was. A I new, know what comes next. Yes, yeah, Nate was a new guy last episode, so Nate kind of has to earn his keep, if you will, and show that he's sticking around. So obviously, you know, you, he has stuff. He gets injured, but then you know, Ray's the whole in, team has to really prove themselves to the JSA. True, because then you get bits with like Ray and Amaya have some scenes together too. And then we got Stein, who's trying to prove that he can be a team leader, but he can't. So instead, he appoints a new team leader, Sarah. Yay! Yeah, Sarah's the new team leader. <laughs> Sarah is the new team leader of Legends, so get used to it. But yeah, st don't get me wrong, no, Stein had some good moments in this episode. He got to sing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that was fun. Don't, again, just pure classic Legends fun, breaking into a scene, you know, infiltration, all the little hijinks and things going wrong. Gotta love it. All yeah. the things. And what with it being the 40s, of course, casual racism towards Jax. Although, surprisingly... A guy was still happy to dance with a Maya. Maybe girls are treated differently. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, once again, recent moron. Why did he have to blow his cover? Like, I get it. You don't want to salute the Fuhrer. Just play along. God, Ray would be a terrible spy. A whole point of infiltration is to blend in. You have to be among the people. That's what being a spy yeah, is. I guess because they got their morals. They didn't want to salute the Fuhrer. Well, that's the point of the legends. They don't do things the right way. Just They just do things a way. Mm. The one tiny... I have a tiny nitpick. So, like, when all the JSA come into, like, the Wave Rider and Gideon says something, Amaya's like, oh, what's that? And she's like, a computer. It's like, what's a computer? That is a stupid phrase because... The term computer would still exist, just not in a way we know it. A computer would just be a person who computes things, a person who calculates things. So <laughs> instead, she should say, what's so special about a talking computer? Yeah, yeah, computer's a person. Exactly. It's a, a dumb nitpick, but oh well. She should have said talking machine. Yeah. That would have been, if, yeah, if they said talking machine, that would have been easier, but oh well. Mm. The rest, but that's just a tiny nitpick, but yeah. Mm. But yeah, Sarah's a leader. Ray had some good scenes with Amaya. We got to see, you know, obviously we had Eobard Thorn in this episode. And oh, yeah. 
we, he wasn't in it for a lot of the episode, but obviously uh, he's clearly up to something. Because well, he killed Rex Tyler. Yeah, and he obviously wanted to. Ta- he wanted the Nazis to give him the amulet, and when that failed, he just took the amulet anyway. Which raises a question. Why did he need the Nazis? Exactly. <laughs> he could just run in and take stuff. Maybe he didn't know where it was. It was too hidden. But once he knew the JSA had it, he could just go get it because he knew they had it. Yeah. But they obviously he didn't know where the Nazis were holding it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so fair enough. But so still. either way, it worked out for him. The one question I had is, what was his plan last episode? They were nuking New York. And that was, you know, Damien said, I'm working for someone. So that implies that that was part of Thorne's plan. But what did that have to do with anything? I don't know. Like, everything else in this season Thorne does all makes sense. But, like, obviously him stealing the amulet goes somewhere. But... Why kill Rex Tyler? Why not just run in, take the amulet, and leave? I don't know. Maybe he wasn't hoping for... Maybe he didn't expect for Rex Tyler to live long enough to tell the tale. So he was going to kill the witness? He just didn't expect Rex Tyler to tell the tale long enough to say he was a time traveller? Ah. I don't know, that's the only thing I could think of. Because, yeah, you're right, usually Thorne isn't one for killing people unless he absolutely has to. That's what makes him an interesting villain. He's evil, but usually you can justify why he does things in this sort of twisted way. Yeah, which is why I'm saying, why not just run in and grab the amulet? Exactly, but... Oh, well, I still absolutely enjoyed this episode. Like I said before, the opening fight seems great. Again, another amazing... Legends has a great a great tradition of, like, in Season 2, whenever there's a huge fight scene, like the one last episode or the one this episode, they always have spectacular music. Oh, yeah, definitely. God, the music when they face the JSA is amazing. And there's some amazing music coming up in Legends as well. Oh, boy. Legends yeah. Season 2 is once again on a roll. And, yeah, so obviously we've got stuff with Thorn. Nothing with Damien Dark this time, but we were still continuing on with the JSA stuff. There was too much to handle anyway. Yeah. But, you know, it was fun seeing all the nice little interactions between the JSA members, which was fun. Oh, yeah. So during the episode, Jax was showing an interest in Stargirl. In the actual episode, she didn't show any interest back. Unless you watch the deleted scenes. There's a few deleted scenes. Then it's not just one-sided anymore. Yeah, there's a few deleted scenes that kind of play into, you know, the interest between Stargirl and Jax for some reason. Yep. She's impressed because he's the engineer or something and she kisses him and they say goodbye and that's it. Yeah. Oh, well, but that's about it. And we find it. And, of course, it turns out that Amaya is apparently associated with Rex Tyler because she's there at the end, you know, when when Rex Tyler dies. Mm -hmm. But, oh, well. But still... Wonderful episode. Season 2, of course, is off to a great start. I, can, I can't think of any fault with Season 2. I'm giving this another 9. I'll just go 8. I'll give it another 9. I enjoyed it just as much as the last episode. I think I enjoyed the last one slightly more, but I still love this one too. Yeah, definitely. I love next episode too. What's it called? Shogun. Oh, God. Next episode. So many good episodes. Yeah. So many good episodes. But uh, we will see you next time for more Legends and other things as well. See, see you, you next time, time guys. guys.